Ismail Kam Ekram Sheikh welcomes you to Bangladesh Have a seat Tell me what is the news from Navadeep Huzur I have struck gold Gold Yes yes The deities of Eskon Mayapur Mandir are of real solid gold. What are you saying, Ismail? Are you sure? Yes, Huzur, I am dead sure. In fact, just before coming here, I have even confirmed the news with an astrologer. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> then then i just need 30 35 people yes i just need 30 to 35 people aslam yosef gather all our men take all our weapons swords spears choppers guns and bombs what help can we get from the hindus narayan help my committed strong well built men are ready to lay down their lives for you my sarkar this time this time we have a well planned strategy yes huzur this time we we'll study each and every corner of the temple the gates the halls the rooms the altar nothing will be spared we shall make those videshis bite the dust <laughs> yes yes 24th march 1 am we shall strike we shall strike with all our power and might this time i want to taste success This time no one defeats a gram shake no one defeats a gram shake your weapons keep your guns and swords intact this is our golden chance abbas you go from the west ikbal take the south while me and jamal will take the east yes shankar but before you get down don't forget to indicate to ekram sheik now is the right time the tiger is asleep Take the bait. Shh! Mind your weapons. He's heard it.
<laughs> the deities of Iskon Mayapur. <laughs> Fourth March, nineteen eighty-four, formed a deep wound on the body of Iskon. Their headquarters at Mayapur was attacked. This attack left the devotees injured, not only physically but also emotionally. They had just managed to rescue the deity of Srila Prabhupad, but they had lost. Shrimati Radha Rani. There was an undercurrent of insecurity in the community. This time, the leaders had to take a serious stand. Bhavanand Prabhu, we have had enough. This time, those rogues have crossed the limit. They dared. To steal Shrimati Radharani and Shila Prabhupad. Not only that, because of those rascals, Bhakti Raghav Swami has lost his leg, and Ekadashi Prabhu has suffered severe injuries, and so many other devotees have also suffered. This incident has terrorized our entire community. We need to take some strict action. Why not complain to the police? Police. What will they do? We had such incidents even in the past. We filed so many complaints, but what happened? No action was taken. What do you feel, Bhavanand Prabhu? Mahajano yena gathas sapanta. Let us follow in the footsteps of the acharyas. In the footsteps of the acharyas? Yes. When similar attacks by dacoits had threatened devotees at the yoga pit, Shrila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and his son Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur had promptly installed the deities of Shri Shri Lakshmi Narsimha Dev. And do you know what? After this, there were no further disturbances. But Bhavan and Prabhu, this is easier said than done. The pujari. Must be a nastic brahmachari, and the worship of Lord Narasimha Dev must be very strict and regulated. Who would be prepared to worship him? If we have a strong desire, the Lord will certainly help us. Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhu, Atma Tattva Prabhu, why don't you prepare some sketches? I have a certain form in my mind. Deities' legs should be bent, ready to jump. He should be looking around ferociously. His fingers should be curled, and flames should be coming out from his head. All right, Prabhu, we will make the sketch accordingly. But the question remains the same: Who will be ready to worship Lord Narasimha Dev? I, Pankaj Angri Das, shall worship Lord Narasimha Dev. The devotees of the Lord do not depend on any material weapon or strength for their protection, but.
but they completely take shelter of the Lord who incarnates in various forms. Therefore, the devotees at Mayapur sought shelter at the lotus feet of Lord Narsimhadev. Atma Tattva Prabhu was made in charge for bringing this most ferocious form of the Lord to Mayapur. He immediately left for South India, a land of rich devotional culture and celestial architecture. After a long and tiresome journey, by Krishna's grace, he soon found a renowned sthapati. A sthapati not only sculpts deities, but is also an expert in temple architecture and engineering. Hare Krishna, my name is Atma Tattva Das. I am from Iskon and I have come here from Navdweep. I have heard you are one of the most famous sthapatis of South India. No, 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 no. That is all Lord Ranganath's mercy. Come, please come. Have a seat. Your Ramalingam, coconut water kondiva. Yes, tell me, what can I do for you? Actually, we wanted you to carve a deity for us. Is it? What deity? Well, the deity of Ugranarsima. Ugranarsima? Yo, Paidyam! Did you say Ugranarsima? No, 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 no. That is not possible. But why? No, 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 no. Once I said it's not possible, means it's not possible. I will not carve this deity. But Sthapati ji, please. No, no, no. I am sorry. You can find someone else. Atma Tattva Prabhu approached many deity sculptors. The answer was always the same. No. He made a number of trips between Mayapur and South India. Six months had passed but there was no fruitful result. Atma Tattva Prabhu was determined. He decided to once again visit the original Sthapati. Sthapati ji, I would request you again. Please, please consider our case. Okay, Atma Tattva ji. First, first let me read to you a chapter from this Shilpa Shastra that deals with different forms of deities. Come, sit. Here is the description of Lord Narsimha Dev. He has flame like mane, a searching glance, and his knees are bent with one foot forward, ready to jump from the pillar. I... I am amazed. This is, this is exactly what we wanted. Sthapati ji, Sthapati ji, please look at the sketch. Hmm. I am impressed. I shall draw an outline based on the scriptural description which can be used as a guide for sculpting the deity. But let me remind you, I shall not carve the deity. It took the Sthapati a week to complete the sketch and it was very impressive. Atma Tattva Prabhu returned to Mayapur and showed the sketch to the temple authorities. Meanwhile, the Sthapati approached his Guru, the Shankaracharya of Kan.
lived over 3000 years ago by very elevated stapatis there is a place on the way to mysore where a very ferocious ugra narsimha is installed the demon hiranyakashipu is torn open on his lap and his intestines are spilling out all over the altar once the standard of worship used to be very high there was an elephant procession and a festival every day but gradually the worship declined today that place is like a ghost town the whole village is deserted no one can live there peacefully is that what they want for their project gurudev they are insistent they are constantly coming to talk to me about the deity apparently they have some problem with the decoids gurudev this is the deity that they want hmm ah this is an ugra category but a deity in this particular mood is called stanu narsimha he doesn't exist on this planet even the demigods in heavenly planets don't worship a form like this yes this deity belongs to ugra category ugra means ferocious very angry there are nine forms within this category they are all very fierce the one they want is stanu narsimha stepping out of the pillar no don't carve this deity it will not be auspicious for you i will talk with you about this later after this the sthapati went back home a few nights later the sthapati had a wonderful dream my dear son please listen to me very carefully every holy place has a predominating deity whose mood is accepted by all the other deities installed in that dham the predominating deity of navadweep is sri chaitanya mahaprabhu who is very merciful and hence every deity in mayapur will adopt that same merciful mood hence for them you can carve stanu narsimha my dear son please go ahead oh was that a dream or was it the instruction of my guru dear sir i have a letter for you for me where is it from oh it is from kanchipuram my gurudev's letter i don't believe this it was my gurudev's instruction here he writes for his con you can carve stanu narsimha unaware of what had just transpired between the sthapati and his guru all the devotees in mayapur wanted the same sthapati to carve the deity for the third time atma tatva prabhu was sent back to south india to try to convince him again come come atma tatva ji so you are back yes sir i am back and i am back with the same request please sir please be merciful and carve the deity for us of course i will carve the deity for you you will i mean i mean that is great but but sir please can i ask you the reason for this sudden change in your decision the reason 
<laughs> Then the sthapati described to Atmatattva Prabhu about his transactions with his guru about his warning about his dream and finally about the letter Look this is my guru's letter I have my guru's blessings I will carve this deity for you That is simply wonderful I am really grateful to you sir Please please accept this advance payment and please let me know how much time it would take to carve the deity To carve the deity it will take at least 6 months 6 months All right I will meet you then After spending 4 peaceful months in the holy dham of Mayapur Atmatattva Prabhu decided to go to South India and purchase the heavy brass paraphernalia required for Narsimha Dev's worship and then he proceeded to collect the deity हरे कृष्णा स्थापति जी ओ आत्मतत्व जी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा वॉट ब्रिंग्स यू यर वेल आई हैव जस्ट फिनिश्ड परचेजिंग ऑल द पैराफेनेलिया रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द वर्शिप ऑफ लॉर्ड नरसिम्हा देव एंड नाउ नाउ आई एम हियर टू कलेक्ट द डेटी डेटी वॉट डेटी वॉट डेटी स्थापति जी आई हैव कम यर टू कलेक्ट द डेटी ऑफ लॉर्ड उग्र नरसिम्हा Have you lost your senses? You have come here to collect the deity of Lord Ugra Narasimha. I haven't even found a suitable stone yet. But you told me he would be ready in 6 months. Yes, I will keep my promise. 6 months after I find a suitable stone. What? But there are big slabs of stone all over South India. Then what is the problem? And besides that What will I tell to the devotees in Mayapur? Atma Tattva ji, I am not making a grinding mortar. I am making a deity. The scriptures tell us that only a stone that has life can be used to make a Vishnu deity. When you hit seven points of the stone slab and they make the sound mentioned in the scriptures, Only then that stone may be suitable for making a deity. But then Atma Tattva ji there is also a second test to indicate whether the stone is a living stone or not. There is a bug that eats granite. If it eats from one side of the stone to the other and leaves a complete trail visible behind it only then the second test of such a living stone has been passed that stone is a living stone atma tattva ji and expressions can manifest from such a stone only and only from such a slab can i carve your narsimha dev such a stone speaks poetry all the features of deity sculpted from such a stone will be fully expressive and beautiful atma tattva ji please be patient I have been searching sincerely for your 6 foot slab. Well, it seems that I don't have a choice then. Well, Sthapati ji, the last time I came here, I forgot to tell you that we want a Pralad murti too. We want to worship Pralad Narsimha. What do you think? Well, I don't think that is possible. You want everything done exactly according to scriptures. Your Narsimha dev will be 4 feet high comparatively speaking that will make prahlad maharaj the size of an amoeba but we want prahlad maharaj to be 1 foot high fine but that means your narsimha dev will have to be about 120 feet high but that is not possible well then how do you expect me to carve prahlad you have to but then what about the comparison of the sizes no no That is not practically possible. You please carve as we are telling you. All right, I'll do that. But now, please let me do my work. Yes, of course, Thapati ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Atma Tattva Prabhu shuttled back and forth from Mayapur to South India, 
every 30 or 40 days. Finally, the stone was found and the Sthapati became a transformed man. For over a week, he hardly spent any time at home. Hour after hour, day after day, he just sat staring at the slab. He had a chalk in hand, but didn't draw anything. He refused to allow his laborers to do anything. So, what is the latest development, Sthapati ji? Well, I have made a sketch on the stone. Is that all? Sthapati ji, the Mayapur managers are becoming impatient. Are you sure this deity will be finished in six months? Don't worry, don't worry. The work will be done. After this, the Sthapati started carving the form himself with intense care and dedication. After some time, the stone had gone and the shape had come. It took the Sthapati a little over 12 months to finish carving the deity. Finally, I have finished carving the deity of Ugra Narsimha. Oh, that was really hard work and I sure deserve a break. Well, let me visit my friends for a few days before informing Atma Tatuji about this. It is a monsoon season and I feel it will be safe enough to lock up Lord Narsimhadev securely in my thatch shed. Two days later Sthapati ji, Sthapati ji, what is the matter Subramanyam ji, why are you so worried, Sthapati ji your shed, what happened to my shed, your shed is on fire, ayya, pipadi chiri chiri, pipadi chiri chiri, what, how is that possible, it is raining so heavily and everything is wet, yes, but the coconut tree roof has caught fire, come, hurry up, hurry up, odi yenge, odi yenge, wait, I know why this is happening. First, I should call Atma Tatwaji. Hare Krishna, Atma Tatwadasi or? Hello, Atma Tatwaji. Please, please come and take your deity. He is burning everything. He has made it clear. He wants to go now. Finally, by his own will, the Lord was taken to Mayapur 
and the installation of Lord Narasimhadev lasted for 3 days from 28th of July to 30th July 1986 and after this there were no further disturbances no attacks no robberies no decoits and no injuries with the appearance of Lord Narasimhadev began the era of protection of the devotees both physically and spiritually he is the one from whom even fear personified fears and he is the one who provides fearlessness to his devotees from any situation or calamity just like he did to pralhad maharaj Shri Ugra Narasimha Bhagwan Ki Jaya 